The XBB 1.5 COVID variant is highly contagious, guys. It is highly infectious, which means it's able to transmit and travel from person to person relatively easily. In fact, researchers have said that uh, XBB 1.5 is the most highly transmissible variant that we have seen to date which is a big deal, by the way. We also have to remember, guys, that XBB 1.5 is part of the Omicron family. It is an Omicron subvariant, so that's really important to keep in mind. Now, with that said, a lot of you guys have asked, okay, well, what are the symptoms? What should I expect if I were to come down with this variant? Now, the good news is that XBB 1.5 um, COVID variant symptoms seem to be very similar to symptoms we might have gotten with other variants in the past. Uh, things like um, headache, uh, sore throat, um, and nasal congestion. Also, many of us, right, we get fever and we get chills. Um, also, other symptoms such as fatigue, like extreme fatigue, malaise, muscle aches and pains. Uh, some people are getting GI symptoms such as nausea, diarrhea, and things like that. There's always the possibility of loss of taste and smell. Um, and many of the symptoms are similar to what we might have seen in the past. And remember, too, it's always possible to have more severe symptoms as well, um, you know, lower lung symptoms, etc. And that sort of exists with COVID in general. Now, um, so when we talk about symptoms, symptoms seem to be very similar to what maybe they have, uh, we've seen in the past with other COVID variants. Now, in terms of risk, observational data from multiple studies have suggested that the risk of severe disease or death with Omicron infections in general is lower than with prior variants of concern. By the way, this is a good thing because remember, XBB 1.5 is an Omicron variant, okay? Um, but but this is the thing. Uh, even if the, the level of individual risk for severe disease with Omicron is lower than with prior variants, we know XBB 1.5 is highly infectious. What that means is that more people are going to be infected with XPB 1.5, and thus we have a higher likelihood that we're going to get some severe cases because that's just what happens when you have more cases. Um, it is good that there seems to be a, a lower risk for severe disease with uh, Omicron in general. Why? Uh, maybe it's because of immunity that many of us have from prior infection or getting vaccinated in the past. Um, sources do state that there are animal studies showing lower viral levels uh, in lung tissue and milder clinical features overall with Omicron compared with other variants. So this is probably playing a, you know, playing a role uh, in the fact that it seems clinically less severe. By the way, this is good. But as I always say, though, we still need to wait to see fully what ends up happening because, uh, you know, with COVID, we have been, um, our mind has changed a few different times. Um, this is the thing, though. I, I always say there are things we can do to be proactive against COVID, XBB 1.5 and other variants, right? That is wearing our masks. That is getting vaccinated. This bivalent booster is uh, protective and will help protect us against XBB 1.5. So please, guys, make sure you're getting that. Um, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this, what your thoughts are. Um, if you've not liked and followed my page, please do. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Uh, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Click the little bell for updates, guys. I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.